You know, microfossils are everywhere in Indiana, under your feet, under your fingernails. But when you find some cool microfossils, we stop here at the Children's Museum to talk to William Ripley. He is our expert on things that are small. Hey, William, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? We're here with these really small fossils at mm -hmm. the museum. This one right here just has to be just a flake of a bone. What, what in the world is that? What we have right here, this is actually a part of a fish jaw. A jaw? A jaw, yep. That's only, that's not even a centimeter large. No, it's not. And if you look really closely, you might even be able to see the teeth in it. Oh, yeah. I, I guess a microscope helps with microfossil. Hence, microfossil. <laughs> now, a microfossil, and what is a microfossil used for? Uh, there's a few different things uh, they can be used for. Uh, index fossils, uh, that lets us kind of show how the world has expanded. Plate so tectonics. If you go to the library, you go to index file, and you know that these numbers, books, go here. So is a fossil like that, an index fossil? Pretty much, yes. Yeah. Okay, so if you find a small little fossil, and you know that that was in this layer of rock, and you find that same fossil somewhere else in the world, what does that tell us? It gives us a basic age so that we know that everything you find in that layer is the same age as everything you find in a layer farther away. Okay, so microfossils are important for that. What, are, what other uses are they? Um, they can help fill out the environments. They, they let us know what other types of animals were around. We know we have the big animals. Mm -hmm. These tell us the smaller animals. Well, can you tell climate or uh, how would you tell climate about them? Um, by what types of animals you find. For example, that is a crocodile scoot. Uh -huh. Crocodiles are found only in certain climates. Mm -hmm. So we can gauge what type of climate there was where this was found. So this is almost kind of like a list of the, all of the animals in the exactly. ecosystem. Exactly. You're right. Now, these seem like they would just blow away. So how do you find something like this? We take the rock and the dirt that mm -hmm. come in with the fossils and I soak it down. I usually soak it for about a week in water. Mm -hmm. I run it through screens, basically like a screen you'd find in your screen door. Mm -hmm. And that washes all the dirt away. And what's left are these little pieces. And then I let them sit for a few days, dry out. Mm -hmm. I collect it, that's what's called concentrate. I've concentrated everything down. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, put it under a microscope. You can have an entire museum in a shoebox, basically. Well, that's great, I tell you. Big fossils, medium-sized fossils, micro-fossils. William Ripley, thanks a lot for taking just a little bit of time to show <laughs> us these little fossils. My pleasure.